We're going to continue on now with our adjustments. We've already talked about prepaids. We've discussed insurance, supplies. We looked at depreciation expense in its own video. Now we're going to move on to unearned revenues, another adjustment. Unearned revenues is really not that complicated. If you understand prepaids, I think you're going to understand unearned revenues very easily. It's just kind of the opposite. Instead of looking at expenses, we're going to be looking at revenues. So let's say that we have a new office space. And this office space, we're going to rent it out. And let's say we're going to rent it for $1,000 a month. And let's say that it's November 1st. And someone comes to us and says, look, we want to rent this, but we're not familiar with these people. And we say, you know what? You need to pay us six months worth of rent up front. And they agree. So it's $1,000 per month for six months. So what happens is, on November 1st, we get the cash of $6,000. Okay? But what we're going to credit is unearned rent revenue of $6,000. So here's our entry. Okay? We get cash of $6,000. We're not going to recognize revenue. Revenue is a revenue account. Unearned rent revenue is a liability account. So I'm going to put right down here, this is a liability account. Okay? So this is a liability. Make sure you understand that. Even though it says revenue, it's a liability because we have not earned it. Revenue is only revenue when it's been earned. This has not been earned, and we're using the accrual basis of accounting, so that means that this is a liability. Because we have to provide this service or provide this uh, rent space for our client, for this person that's renting from us. So now at December 31st, they've been in this office space for two months. Remember, this $6,000 was for six months, $1,000 per, per month. Well, our unearned says that we have a balance of $6,000. Well, that balance isn't correct anymore because they've used up two months worth of this. So we've actually earned two months of revenue. So what we do then is we need to reduce the unearned rent revenue by the 2000 and we recognize rent revenue. So now we get to recognize the revenue, and it's going to be $2,000. Okay? And now we have four more months. So then on April 30th, they've been renting the space out. April 30th, we now get to recognize the remaining portion. So it's going to be a similar entry, unearned rent revenue versus rent revenue for the remaining $4,000. Because at April 30th, that's four months into the next year, April 30th, we've now earned the entire $6,000. Now notice, it's really important to notice here that at December 31st, okay, December 31st, we recognized 2,000 of expense in the prior year and then 4,000 of expense in the subsequent year, in the next year. So year one, we recognized 2,000 of the expense. In year four, we recognized 4,000. We received all the cash up front, but we're recognizing, oh, I did that wrong, it's not expense. Let me erase that. I'm sorry. It's revenue. I make mistakes too. We recognize 2,000 of the revenue in the first year and 4,000 of the revenue in the second year. I hope that didn't confuse you, but I've corrected it now. So we're recognizing, we're matching the revenue in the right time periods. All right? Now, think about some other things that would be recorded this way. Think about concerts that you might go to or or maybe a sporting event, okay? When you pay for those things, that's unearned revenue. If you're going to a concert, you pay money up front. When the, when the ticket people, when the, the concert people get that cash, they don't recognize revenue right away. They, just, they recognize an unearned revenue because they got your cash, so they'll debit cash, but then they're going to credit unearned revenue. That's the same thing for sporting events, football, soccer, basketball, hockey, whatever it might be. When they get your cash for season tickets, they have to recognize an unearned ticket sales. And then as the games take place, or as the concert takes place, then that's when they would recognize the revenue. So it works in the same way, all right? Good luck with unearns. The next video is gonna go over our accrued expenses and then our accrued revenues.